Okay, so hello everyone. This is Akshay here, and welcome back to the another great day of our GFG Pure this week. So again, it's a very standard question, as it was mentioned. For it's a July special placement season that is covering the most uh, popular interview questions, right? So power of numbers. The category is medium. So how many can I That uh, we have a given number, number and its reverse. So find the number raised to the power of its own reverse. So we have to do nothing, just to find x power y. Right, you have been given a number two. If you reverse the number two, you will get itself two, and then you have to find two power two. Similarly, for twelve, if you reverse it, it would be twenty one. So you need to find twelve power twenty one, and we do not have to take care of reversing the number in the inbuilt function. They have already written the code of reversing the number, as you can see here. Correct. We just have to complete this power function, which is taking two input. That is the n, and the second input as uh, r. So great. How we can do it? So first of all, if you have done question like before, then it's a very good thing. And you should do it. But okay, if you are doing the first question, then okay, let's see how we can do it. If I tell you that you need to multiply three uh, four times, then what will I say? Three into three into three into three, into three right? So root force will be equal to three. I will run a for loop for i equals to zero to i less than n i plus plus. We just maintain an answer variable. So answer. Answer star equals to this given number. Let's say it's uh, uh, in uh, written as num, right? So answer star equals to num, and then we return the answer. But what is the time complexity of this approach? This approach is O of n and O of one space complexity. Can we look at the constraint? So let us look at the constraint. If you will see, there is a ten power nine. So definitely, also the number could be very large, and you can get two errors here. One error you will get the overflow, right? Overflow, so we can handle kar sakte by using percent mod, where mod will be nothing but the given as 10.9 plus 7, something like that, right? And the second error, second error you will uh, get will be of TLE because you have been given, you are coding this approach in O of n, and n is here given as 10.9, so definitely it is greater than 10 power 8, and that is why this O of n solution will not work. What we can do else? So. The basic intuition. Let us come to the intuition. Forget about the right part or whatever I have written. Let's just just focus on the left part. Correct. So, if I say if I say there is a x power six, can you write? Can we write it like this? X power three, whole power two, and I can then split into x power six by two into x power six by two. I can write like that. Correct. So this is for the even case. So what if we have a number as odd? So x power seven. So I can definitely write it as x into x power six. So let's say whatever code we have written to handle an even number for the odd number, we can just say ki just uh, point out one instance of that value and do the same thing you did for the even case. Can you? Can we say that? Yes, can we? We can say that. Okay. So let's go. Let's jump to the pseudo code now. So you have a function having the two parameters n power p, and you need to find with uh, the power of p, correct? Okay, so if uh, so, if it is an what to say? If it is an even number, then what are we doing? We are actually doing six to uh, six to three, right? So that is we are converging from six to three. That is we are doing six to six by two, correct? So that is what I have written here. We are converting the pth parameter to p by two, and the same we we have to call the recursive function for rest of the thing because it is not still yet done, right? And what are we multiplying actually? That we are multiplying whatever this function will return. That means for x power six, whatever x power three and x power three is, right? You just need to multiply both of them, and you you got your answer. And you have stored this function of n comp two into an answer. That is why you have written answer into answer star answer. Correct. In the else part, what you need to do, you just need to extract one instance. So that is what one instance is again saved in an answer variable. I have extracted it and then call the function for. Let's say it was seven. It was seven, so I called it for six p minus one. Now, I hope you were able to relate it. If not, I highly really encourage you to please, uh, let's say, dry run the, uh, run it for this test case, ten part, two part ten. I will also do it for you. But yes, please pause this video and try to do it yourself. And let us match. Let us tally then if your solution, if your recurrence tree or recurrence relation uh, matches with mine as well. Okay, so let us proceed ahead with the dry run. So I am calculating for let's say function of two by ten, right? To comma ten, comma ten. So what 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 first thing will happen? That it will fall in the first if case, right? And what will happen? That you will declare one variable that is answer, and you will store. You will call a function again f of n comma ten by two. That is five, correct? You will call this, and then there would be one another another task also. This task, but you have to wait for it before uh, this call. After this call gets over, then only you can execute this statement. That's what recursion means. Okay. 
So again, I go to the initial function and now the parameters are 2 comma 5. So I will see that it's a 5 is an odd number. I will go into the else case and what I will do, I will make a variable answer which I'll store the first instance that is the 2 and then the second thing what I will do is answer equals to 2 star. I will call the function of function comma 2 comma 4. Correct? Then this function will evaluate 2 comma 4 again it will fall in the even case and what I will do is I will again initialize an answer variable and answer will just store the function of 2 comma 2. I am just always uh, decrementing the number by 2 that is 4 to 2 that is 6 to 3, 4 to 2 and so on. Okay, so there is a second task also. Here we second task bhi hoga, jo but hum tabhi kar sakte jab tak hamara regression call khatam na ho jaye, parent call se wapas na kar de. Thik hai. Okay, to main screen ko thora is taraf aur kar leta hu. Mm, great. I hope aapne pseudo code you have written in your textbook or let's say page anyway. Okay, so let us proceed ahead. So 2 comma 2, what it will give, what it will do. 2 comma 2 will again fall in the if statement and it will again do as function answer equals to function of 2 comma 1. There would be one subtask that is to be needed to be done but after this recursive call get over. So again 2 comma 1 will what it will say. It will fall in the else case. It will put make out one instance because the p is odd and 2 into function of 2 comma 0. And since any x power 0 like agar kisi bhi number ka power 0 karoge to kya hota hai 1 so we will have a base case here that is why that is why we will have a base case here that if acha humne base case nahi likha so let us write it here so the base case would be that if at any point if p is equals equals to 0 then what you have to do you need to stop your recursion and what you need to return you need to return 1 so definitely this will return 1 let me change my color okay so this would be 1 an answer is now pointing to 2, correct? So, answer is now pointing to 2 and this recursive call was stored where? In answer. So, that means this is also pointing to 2. What was the second step? Second step was to that answer is equal to nothing but answer star answer. We know, uh, we know why we have done this, correct? So, it would be nothing but 2 into 2 that will give you as 4, correct? So, now this function of 2 comma 2 was stored in the variable answer and answer is now pointing to 4. So, that means this is also pointing to 4. Correct. So the second the second statement was to again store the answer of 4 into 4 that will give you a 16. Again, what will happen? That okay, this 16, correct. So this thing. Now this function of 2, comma 4 is answer is nothing but 2, comma 2 into this function, right? So it would give you as 2 into 16, and this will point. The answer will now point at this at this point of time at 232. Okay, so now the answer is now pointing to 32 and answer is stored in function 2, 5. So, here answer ki value kya ho 32. So, what was the first step to just to square it? So, again, I will say that answer is nothing but 32 cross 32, which is nothing but 2 power 5 into 2 power 5. And this all the recursive call gets over. Once it comes to the parent call, it will return my answer. In the in the final code, I have returned the answer, correct? So, that would be returned 2 power 5 into 2 power 5. That is 32 into 30 power 2 will be returned and we will get our answer. I hope you were able to do the same dry run uh, when you try to do it by yourself. So that's great. That's great. I hope you were able to understand it. Also, uh, please pause this video here now and try to code this approach in your code editor and then we will resume again. One point, make sure to handle this, uh, this int mod. Make a int mod pointing to this large value and then at every point wherever you are doing a multiplication you need to do like answer is equals to answer star answer the whole percent mod. You need to handle that. Please code this approach and then we will resume again. ठीक है तो आई होप आपको ये बात समझ में आ गई थी नहीं तो आप एक बार वीडियो को वापस से बैक करो आप उसे देखो एक बार खुद से डर्न करो किसी पर्टिकुलर एग्जांपल के लिए एंड यू विल डेफिनेटली गेट इट सिंस दिस वाज अ रिकर्शन तो मैं यार जब भी कोई रिकर्शन है क्वेश्चन आता है तो मैं एक छोटा सा इसके लिए आपको ड्राइंग जरूर दिखाता हूं क्योंकि इससे थिंग्स और बेहतर हो जाती है ठीक है सो वी हैव डिक्लेयर्ड दिस इंट मॉड विद दिस ह्यूज लार्ज नंबर 10 पावर 8 प्लस 7 एंड यस दिस इज द बेस कंडीशन जस्ट वी टॉक्ड अबाउट एंड व्हाट व्हाट एल्स so we have a uh, two condition that is if if it's an even number and what if if it's an odd number correct we already discussed in the dry run and i'm explaining you each and every iteration so i'll not waste my time again here and at last we are just returning it so what's the use of uh, declaring this mod because hume overflow nahi karna yaar right hum integer ko 10 power 9 se agar upar le jaoge to wo overflow ho jayega like wo int uski value hold nahi kar sakti hai so that is why we have declared the answer as long and whenever we are multiplying it we are at that particular moment hum use reduce kar de rahe percent mod se kyunki ye question nahi kaha tha so that is it. Let us compile and run. And once it's it is successfully compiled, we will hit the submit button. So while it is compiling, what is the time complexity? Time complexity we discuss it. If you see, if you see my dry run, my dry run in numbers how many degrees are? What are we doing? That first, that first we have two comma ten. 
then we call for 2 comma 5 then we call for 2 comma 4 then we call for 2 comma 2 and then we call for 2 comma 1 if you see 10 is what getting uh, reduced by the division of 2 again 4 is getting reduced by division of 2 2 is by division of 2 so that means these many calls you need to make it so ha so agar aisa koi iterations hota hai jisme division of 2 ke purpose se hum ghata rahe kisi number ko to uske liye time constraint kya ho jati hai log n base wo number jisse aapne usne number ko ghataya tha like the whole number right to humne ghataya tha division by 2 so log n base 2 now the time complexity the constraint given is 10.9 and if you do log 10.9 base 2 this will be definitely less than 10 parent and that is why our code will get submitted so great to maine yahan pe variables change nahi kiye main sirf constraint kar deta hu and then we will see great so compilation pass ho gaya hai humne constraint bhi discuss kar liya time complexity discuss kar liya now it is a final moment to hit the submit button and see the results तो ग्रेट आज का क्वेश्चन भी हो गया अगर आप देख सकते हो मेरा पॉइंट आज भी नहीं बढ़ा क्योंकि मैंने ये क्वेश्चन पहले भी कर रखा है वाइल आई वॉज प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर माई प्लेसमेंट सो इफ यू सी माई लास्ट सबमिशन वॉज ऑन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन सो ग्रेट लेट सी दूव अहेड तो ठीक है ये रेसी प्रोसेस कोड ये भी सबमिट हो गया तो एंड करते हैं इस वीडियो को अगर आपको इस वीडियो से हेल्प मिला देन यू कैन श्योरली सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड देन वी विल मीट अगेन इन दिल्ली प्लानिंग